Hi, I'm Peter, and I'm part of the product team at Sagino. In this demo, I'll be leading you through some of the scientist-facing features of the platform. These include search, comparisons, alternative, lists, and product requests. Sagino is a marketplace with over 20 million products from thousands of different brands and suppliers, and is the result of an ongoing effort to normalize product data from several different sources. When you first come to Zagino, I recommend you start at the Marketplace tab in the top left corner. Here you'll find products divided by category. You'll find products such as extraction kits, antibodies, cell lines, chemicals, instruments, and many more. And this is the perfect place to start when you're first getting accustomed to Zagino. When you feel more comfortable, you'll realize there are several different ways to search for products. And these are represented by the tabs on top of the search bar here. If you want to do a broad search across many different search terms, I suggest the Any Search. If you want to search for a specific product by its catalog ID or SKU, simply use the catalog ID tab. If you're searching for a chemical by its CAS number identifier, then use the CAS number tab. And if you're searching for a product by its name, use the product name tab. We also have a structure search, which is currently in beta. And if you have more questions about this, please reach out to your Zagino rep. So for example, if we're searching for a specific product by its catalog ID or SKU, we simply click the catalog ID tab, find our catalog ID or SKU, and either type or copy and paste this ID into the search bar. And here we have one or two options of how we can complete our search. We can either click enter or click the uh, magnifying glass in the right corner, or we can choose one of the suggestions from the autocomplete. And these two different functions have different behaviors. So if we uh, click on the magnifying glass on the right here, we'll be taken to a search page with products that have this catalog ID or products that have similar catalog IDs. However, if we want to save time, we can simply choose one of the suggestions from the autocomplete and we'll be taken directly to the product page itself. Now, if we want to search for a chemical, we can do the same thing, but with a CAS number. We can go to the search bar, choose the CAS number tab, and put in our CAS number. And here again, we have the two different functions available to us. However, in this case, both functionalities achieve the same result. Choosing either option will take us to a search page with products that have that CAS number. And you can see that highlighted on the right side here. If we want to search for a product by its name, we simply use the product name tab and we type in our name. Once we've achieved that, we can then uh, enter our search term into the search. And in this case, we're provided with a, a search page full of relevant results. Now, if we want to narrow down these results, we can simply use the filters on the left-hand side. So in this case, we're looking for an antibody and we can choose uh, specific uh, specifications that match what we want to do with our experiment. So we can, for example, say we want to do a flow cytometry experiment And again, we have the categories here on the left side as well. So here we can choose primary antibodies as we know this is a primary antibody. And then we can get into more specific filtering. So for example, we have clonality. In this case, maybe we want monoclonal. We can choose the type of conjugate we want. We can choose the host of the antibody. We can also choose the isotype. And we can choose the reactivity. And now you can see that we've really narrowed down our search to a specific subset of products. And this is one of the best ways when doing a product name search to really find the results that best suit you. So once we found the product we're looking for, we can simply click on it to access the product page itself. On this page, we have a variety of information available. 
On the left side here, we have the product image. We have a summary of information that is available further down the page. We have the product name. And by the side of that, we have the ability to copy the URL of this page and share it with a colleague who might also be interested. We can also verify that this is actually the product we're looking for by going directly to the manufacturer page. And here we can find any additional information that we might be looking for and really verify that it is the product that we want to purchase. To the side of that, we have our scientific score. And this is Zagino's own product rating system. And this is a rating of the data available for this product in comparison to other products in the same category. This is based on marketplace data, supplier specifications, and publications, just to name a few. Further down, we have the sizes available for this product, as well as the suppliers available for this product. And in each supplier tab, we can see the unit price as well as the overall price. Further to the right, we have our action box. Here we can see our supplier catalog ID, the price, the quantity that we want to add to cart, and the add to cart button. We also have the ability to compare this product with other products or add this product to a list of several products, which we can then easily find later and purchase together if necessary. Further down, we have our description, as well as any special requirements for this product. You can again find a link to the manufacturer site further down as well. Below that, we have alternative product suggestions, which are based on key attributes that are specific to this category. So in this case, we have gene ID, reactivity, applications, and whether the antibody is conjugated or not. Further down still, we have our product specifications in detail, and we have the resources available for this product, including publications, safety data sheets, and other resources. Now, if you come across a product that has missing or incorrect information, you can simply use the button on the right here to report that, and our team will look to correct that as soon as possible. As mentioned previously, it's also possible to compare products on Sagino. This could be done on the search page by the compare button on the right, or it can be done on the product page itself. Also found on the right hand side under the add to cart button. The best way to make use of the comparison feature is via the alternative section. Here we're presented with possible alternatives for the product that we're currently looking at, in this case matched by the same CAS number. All we have to do is click the compare button for the alternative we'd like to look at, and we're taken to a comparison with the two products side by side. We can look at the products we want to compare in more detail or add it to cart, and we can also compare it to the original product in terms of price, price per unit, and more detailed information. We can also customize this comparison further. We can rename it. And save that name. And we can save the comparison itself. This can then be found in our list of comparisons in the tab at the top. We can then view this comparison again, delete it, and on the comparison page itself, we can copy the URL and share it with any colleague who may be interested. If we want to group several products together, we can do this via lists. This may be for a specific experiment that we want to set up, or it may be for products that we regularly reorder. We can start by searching for the product that we're looking for, going to the product page, and clicking Add to Lists. Here we can add to an existing list, or we can create a new list and add the product to this. Type in the name, and then we can simply click Enter to create the list. We then click Save to add the product to that list. If we want to add more products to the list, again, we search for the product, go to the product page, and again, add to list.
We can then find this list under the list section at the top. Here we have an overview of all of our lists, as well as those that are visible to others in our organization. And we can make this visible to other users in our organization simply by filling in the box here. We can then look at this list in more detail by clicking View Details. Here we can add individual products to our cart, or we can add all products to cart as necessary. We can also change the quantities of each product to match our needs. If you're struggling to find a product, there are several different ways that you can request a product edition. You can simply scroll halfway down the search page where you'll be presented with a function that will allow you to request a product via a product request form. Here you can fill in all the necessary product information and we will add the product as soon as possible. The more information that you add, the easier it is for us to, to find the product and the quicker that we can add it to our platform. Additionally, if you enter a search term that returns no results, you'll again be presented with the same options, either by clicking the button here or here. Otherwise, you can go to our chat, you can choose your region, you can select other, and then you'll be connected to an agent who will help you find the product you're looking for. Most product editions will take less than one business day, so you can be sure that the products that you want to buy will be on the marketplace in no time at all. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or you run into any issues, please feel free to contact us.